Welcome to the Chamber Voice of Business podcast. We are recording live here at the 2024 annual celebration of business and community at the Rogers Convention Center. That's right. I want to thank podcastvideos.com for not only being our sponsor, but also being the chronicle sponsor for the uh, annual celebration That's of right. business and community. So, Nick, you might, you know, we might say, see people walking by, you might have some background noise, but you know, that's just that comes with doing doing the live recording, right? Exactly. That's right. We're about 30 minutes out from the official start of the event. So we've got people trickling in behind us. I'm sure as this podcast goes on, we're going to get even more folks that come in and whatnot. I can only imagine what some of the folks might try to do with the cameras behind us, but hopefully if they, they realize you know, it. See, yeah, if yeah, they that's, realize that, it. That's the key right there. For the most part, they're staying pretty, yeah, pretty I, w- clear. I always love that when you get those like live foot- footage on the news and you got like somebody <laughs> acting a fool in the background. Or the dude who walks in halfway and then realizes, yeah, realizes he's on camera what they've done. and slowly like, oh, walks no. it back. But yes, no, we're, we're pumped to be here. Uh, podcastvideos.com is actually going to be our Chronicle sponsor at a few events. This is the first one this yes. year that they're going to be doing. Thank a teacher, which is uh, one of the best events we ever do. That's it's right. Fantastic. Taste of Rogers as well. And uh, we also have, uh, with this event, we have a few other folks we're going to try and, and bring in, but we want to make sure that we talk about with our annual celebration, we've got our title sponsor in Sam's Furniture, mm. and our presenting sponsors for this event are Craft & Toll, Hunt Ventures, Nab Holds Construction, Ritter Communications, and Walmart Really want to thank them for uh, all of their support for this event. We're going to be breaking down what this event means to everybody, too. And, uh, Steve, I want to pass it back off to you when it comes to annual celebration. This is your, uh, what, 12th event? Uh, Uh, Technically 14th. 14th? Yeah, I've been here 13 years. So, yeah, this will be my 14th. uh, It used to be the banquet, and now it's the annual celebration of business and community. And hence the the coat. You know, you went sans coat, but you got that lovely tie going on right there. Well, I think this is more uh, emblematic of what we wind up doing in the event. You actually have to be in front of people that and glad is true, yes. and network. You're the economic <laughs> development guy, whereas I'm in the back of the room trying to blend in and just make sure that... You're the, like pushing the space bar to make sure the slides move on time, <laughs> right? Making sure everything does what it's supposed to do. <laughs> exactly. So... You know, it works out well that way. It does. It does. No, but this is a, this is an absolutely great event. It, it's you know one of our our biggest signature event. Obviously, with you know close to a thousand people attending, it, it's one of the biggest chamber events that that we do um, all year long. So absolutely excited. It's a chance to to celebrate. We give out awards. We got our business of the year. We got our spirit award. The the Elza Tucker Lowell Award. The uh, uh, Dick Tramble Rogers Good Neighbor Award. Mm-hmm. So very excited to be giving those out. Recognize people within the community. We had a chance to shoot those videos. That's right. Um, so definitely excited uh, to be able to, to showcase the, the people within our community that are giving back and doing things and to just continue to move our community forward. So um, and then it's also a chance to highlight, you know, what, what we did. We had a lot of accomplishments in 2023 and then set the stage for, for 2024 uh, and beyond as we, uh, you know, officially change change chamber chairs uh, for the board. So Tom That's Allen right. will do, be coming on board officially. Do the passing of the gavel. Yep. We do all the ceremonial stuff that comes in. So, yeah, it's always fantastic to see that and, and uh, kind of make sure that those ceremonial moments are shared by everybody in the community. It works out really well. Absolutely. Uh, so before but we get this, to this the rest is unique, of the program. Though. This what? is unique because... It's a lunch. Uh, it's a lunch. Exactly. <laughs> it is a lunch. Uh, I mean, would somebody better check the temperature in hell? Because That's right. it is That's lunch right, right That's now. That's significant. For, for <laughs> especially, you know, as we, we try to push our, our next gen groups and whatnot. This is something that, that most of us in the office have been clamoring for. So we're really excited the fact that it's at a lunch. We know that the audience is excited. We'll ask a few folks about that too with their participation. It's it's a really We, we were the lone holdout on the That's corridor right. chambers. That's the, right. the last ones. <laughs> Asylum still has it at night, so for not the last one in, in Benton County, but uh, along the 49 corridor, we definitely we made the switch, and uh, we, we've had a tremendous response to it. So exactly. definitely, definitely very excited to see uh, to see how this help happens, and hopefully we can keep doing this moving forward in, in 25. Well, if the attendance, uh, at least pre-event, is anything, I think we, we don't have to worry about that there. But uh, for sure, uh, uh, before we get to the interviews with other folks, I do want to go over a few things as a part of our our what's new this year. We're actually going to be talking about some of the events that are coming up uh, with each episode. So I want to hit on couple of things. First and foremost is the fact that our 2024 calendar has been set, which yes. is really significant because we have a ton of stuff happening in 2024. If y'all haven't been to rogerslowell.com slash events, that'll take you right to our event calendar. You can see just how jam-packed 2024 is going to be with the stuff that we're doing. Uh, Hustle and Heels has been revamped. Uh, they now are doing monthly uh, events. They've got pop-ups, they've got walk-ins and things like that. So especially if you're uh, interested in ladies doing business in Northwest Arkansas, reach out to Skylar Rutherford at uh, Skylar 
at rogerslowell.com or head to our website, Hustle and Heels. Uh, uh, excuse me, Not rogerslowell.com. All the socials, yeah. Yeah, Hustle and Heels is all over the place. They've got tons of stuff for you guys to do there. Uh, our Coffee Connection is another new thing. They started 8.30 this year. Yes. We listened to everybody who talked about maybe a little bit of a later start. We've already had a couple of those. They've been fantastic events. Uh, we really want to encourage you guys to do that, to get a little bit uh, more sleep in the morning and then come network with us starting at 8.30 for our Coffee Connections. And then we have new, a uh, new series, which is Experience NWA. Uh, premieres on March 28th with Experience NWA Community. It's going to yes. be a multi-part series, uh, each one kind of focusing on a different part of life in Northwest Arkansas. This first one, talking about community. Uh, it's presented by our Northwest Arkansas Emerging Leaders Group, and this first event is going to be at the Center for Nonprofits at St. Mary's. 1300 um, West Walnut. That's right. Yeah. It's going to highlight uh, nonprofits in Northwest Arkansas. So if you want to learn more about the nonprofit scene, whether you want to get involved in a board or even just are trying to find something to do in terms of volunteer time and, and get yourself out there to do some volunteer hours, this event's going to be for you. Again, that's uh, Experience NWA Community. Head to our website, rogerslowell.com slash events. You can find all the information you need about that there so that you can get registered for that event happening on March 28th. Yeah, it's going to be good. And we got more events that we're adding in. Um, you know, we were doing, a, we did have the wonderful Sips on the Bricks holiday edition. Now we're That's doing right. mid year. That's right. Um, you know, Taste of Rogers is back, Community Showcase. I mean, we just, we have a lot of stuff. And something that, that's near and dear to me um, coming up in April, we're going to be doing a hospitality and tourism, uh, not just career fair, uh, but we're also going to be doing like panels with, with people from, you know, we got USL Soccer committed, we've got uh, Runway Group committed, talking about, you know, various hotels, talking about the different uh, career pathways that are available. So we'll have about five, 600 high school students, and then we're doing a hiring fair uh, nice. at the end. So we've got businesses that are actually looking to hire summer help, looking to get these kids jobs and careers. And so uh, it's, it's going to be a good event. First time we're doing that. So we're very excited. So for those who haven't been paying attention, there's a lot happening in Northwest <laughs> Arkansas in 2024. So and that's, definitely we didn't even bring tuned. up draft day. So that's yeah, right. That, that's, that's another, right. another 600 seniors going to be interviewing. Yeah. Workforce development is exploding. The work you've been doing on the economic development side with that is phenomenal. Uh, we've heard from employers talking about the fact that they've needed this kind of stuff uh, to continue the workforce uh, uh, flow into professional uh, jobs throughout Northwest yeah, Arkansas. 2.2% so, unemployment, lowest in the state, but we got now hiring signs everywhere. That's so. right. That's right. Well, I think we're going to let you go for right now. I'm going to go grab a few folks so that we can start the interview process here, and, and we'll be right back with a little bit more. After oh, I like how you pointed right at the camera on that. That was a, that was a good one. That that's was a, right. That was a that's great right. great move. That was for right the there. podcast guys that are back there. You know, I got to bring them into the show. You know, this is going to be like Bear or whatnot on ESPN, where we just throw it over to Parker here before too long. And uh, I I think we can make this work. No, I, absolutely. I think we can Dude, make this work. I, I think we could do this every day. I, 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 yeah, we, we absolutely. We need to have a dedicated you know field field time for podcast. That's right. I'm putting this on my reel. We'll there put we go. that out there. So with my face shot, you know, send that over. Hey, we tell you it. do it. We've yeah. got it. Perfect. <laughs> And we are back live at the 2024 annual celebration of business and community for the Chamber Voice of Business podcast presented by podcastvideos.com. Uh, so we are very grateful for their support uh, as well as being our Chronicle sponsor. We're going to keep throwing that in there, guys. We're going we're gonna to give you all the love this, this podcast here. So uh, very appreciative of them being on site here. We are joined by uh, Josh Vasquez. Josh, Josh, you are the Rogers Area Market President for Generations Bank, and you are also on the Executive Committee for the, the Board of Directors. So appreciate you ho hopping on today. And join us for a few minutes. Thanks, Steve. It's a, honestly, it's a pleasure to be here. So, well, being on the board, being with with your role with Generations Bank, you've been involved with the chamber for for many years. What are you hoping to get out of of today? Why why are you here for the the celebration? Not just because you have to be because you're on the board. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, and and, and you're right. Whether uh, serving on the board, or just being here, honestly, I've. I've been coming here for over a decade to this meeting. This is one of the meetings that one of one of the events I look forward to the most uh, mm -hmm. during the year. So, uh, but to to be honest with you, yeah, you know, I, I believe if you are a stakeholder of Northwest Arkansas and what we're doing here, I don't know how you don't how, why you're not here. Right. Uh, you know the the Rogers Low Chamber, uh, the, everything that you guys do. For us in every aspect, healthcare, education, everything, uh, uh, you guys help to cover, and you you guys are supporting us, our community, the business right. community, the the corporations, the small business. So uh, everything that, from Walmart down to we got we got Kerry walking up here, so his, his small business there too. So we got right, everybody, yeah. and that's that's the other reason why I'm here because of folks like 
like Carrie and other, uh, I mean, just amazing community leaders, business owners. So I don't know why you're, why you're not here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great, yeah, you should be. If you're not, you should be. Yes. So you're missing out. You'll be, be sure to join in 25. So um, you said you've been doing this for over 10 years, coming come to these events. The significance of changing this to a lunch, what, what did that mean to you in terms of, of that? Because, you know, Nick and I were talking about a little earlier about how like, man, this, we never thought we'd see a lunch. We've been asking for it for years. So what, uh, what, what, what about the, the lunch makes it a little bit different for you moving forward? Oh, man, this is a, a great setting. I think it allows uh, an opportunity for folks to, who otherwise wouldn't be able to make it on uh, maybe an evening, whether it's child care, uh, you know, other mm -hmm. responsibilities. Uh, I think this is, makes it a little bit more accessible for those that can't be here. Um, and uh, overall, you know, I think this is... Uh, you're able to reach a much greater greater uh, number of people through through providing this during a lunch hour. Right, right. So, um, you know, what what type of networking do you do? I mean, obviously, you're here as for the chamber, but you're also representing Generations Bank. So, I mean, what 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 is it that you benefit from by being able to come to the annual celebration? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I'm proud to work for a community bank, and as a community bank, we we are able to reach every industry, every side of, of both business and personal uh, uh, individuals. Mm -hmm. um, if you think about it, uh, that's, that gives me an opportunity to be able to have a valuable conversation, a relationship with everybody here, whether they're, they, they're a realtor or they're a small business owner, or they, they work for a company and are looking for their own personal uh, right. banking. I'm able to take those relationships, and I have honestly. That's why I've I've I have uh, been so connected with the chamber because of the value that that it has provided. Allows me to be able to make those strong, valuable relationships that we're able to connect and we're able to to help some people. Yeah, well, and and obviously with you, you know, being in the position that you are. Um, you're really helping push the chamber forward in terms of specifically our minority business outreach as well. I know you have been very passionate about that. Um, we have 37% of our population is, is Spanish speaking or, or has a Hispanic background. Um, why is that so important to you to make sure that the chamber is reaching out and serving the entire community? I think it just goes back to you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of hardworking people out there that deserve uh, and, and should know about what the chamber is doing. You guys are a resource, uh, and what you, the service that you provide, and uh, everything you guys do every day for not just uh, the just not just those, not just one part of business, but right. everybody. Uh, that is something that people need to need to be aware of. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we have a great representation in, in, in business when it comes with the minority uh, populations that they should be able to know what you, what the chamber does for them and what's available. So I think the chamber is an invaluable res resource to, to everybody, including the Hispanic and the minority population. Yeah, and being able to do events like the uh, Mixer de Negocios, which is yeah. bilingual networking. We have chamber tutorial now in Spanish. We have the Spanish seminar series where we do everything completely in Spanish. You know, you've been very passionate about helping that. So we truly do appreciate that. And, you know, our tagline is serving business and community together. And I, I agree with you that we need to be serving the whole community and not just not just parts and so i'm gonna um, date myself a little no, bit go for here it, man. Uh, but i the the first time i got involved with the chamber was when you guys were doing the international festival oh and, that was a while ago and that was yeah. a long <laughs> time ago um but but through that i i I'd use myself as a good example of yeah. that learning what the chamber uh has to offer mm -hmm. um that's why i never left right because i the resources uh, to education to to, I mean, I can go on and on about that, but that's that's the value, and, well, and, and, I like and that's it. what yeah. people need to know. Yeah, exactly. And like you know, you've changed jobs, but you still have stayed with the chamber. That's, that's kind right. of been that constant. And so we we appreciate all of your all of your support, everything that you've been able to do for us, and you know, love that the fact that you're on the executive committee. And pretty soon you're going to be the one up on stage in Thank a couple you. of years. I, so yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, no, we appreciate you joining us today on the uh, Voice of Business podcast. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Josh. Thank you. Awesome. So I'm actually back here with our current COO at the Chamber, Ross Phillips. Ross, thank yeah. you for being on the podcast today. So we wanted to ask you a few questions, kind of from the organizational standpoint of mm -hmm. our annual celebration. This is our biggest event, and this year we actually have the theme of uh, going forward with our tagline, serving business and community together. That being said, uh, what does that mean to you personally, and how did we as a Chamber kind of fit that into our program today? That's a good question. 
just <laughs> no softballs here. Um, I think for me personally, what it means, I grew up here in Northwest Arkansas. So this, this is my home. I'm one of the few that um, can actually say that. And so when we're talking about serving our community, it really, it really just hits home because I want to make this the best place to live, work, and play for, for my kids. And um, so, you know, you have to have those world-class businesses to have that world-class community. And that's what we're really all about here at the Chamber is making our community the best so our businesses can be the best as well. You, you know, you think about it, if you don't live in a strong community where you want to be, you're not gonna go into work your best. But if you live in a strong community where you're happy and you have friends and you have that support network, you're gonna go into your job and you're gonna be more efficient, you're gonna be more effective For at, sure. at what you're doing. So that's how I really see that we're serving business and community together, just making this the best place for people to live so they come into their nine to five just as happy as they can be. No matter what happens during the day, because we all know stuff's gonna happen, Oh, yeah. But you go home and you can just be like, man, I live in such a great place. I can go out and do this or I can go do that or I got this support network over here. So for me, that's what it's really all about. Well, and this is, uh, you know, we, we don't have anything that makes this officially official, but this is essentially the largest gathering of Northwest Arkansas businesses that happens annually, our annual celebration. Right. So what you're talking about in terms of like giving folks that opportunity to not only come out with their business and celebrate everything that we've been doing as a community, but you're also allowing folks to have that networking opportunity with mm -hmm. other businesses and continue to help that right. uh, business scene flourish. I think that really kind of helps play into it, yeah? It really does. I mean, it really does. I mean, you, you think about it, we're going to have over 800 plus people here today. And those are business connections that are going to happen, that are going to happen, but they're also just relationships that are going to happen. It's going to go past that business connection. So, I mean, yeah, it's definitely a great feel. It's a great atmosphere. Everyone here kind of feels like family and like they belong and that we're fitting in. And I think that just speaks to the culture that we have at the chamber, just being welcoming, inviting to whoever walks through those doors. Oh, yeah. Well, so for anyone, we've got tons of people that are here, but we also know that we're always looking for new folks to bring under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who may be listening to the podcast who don't know if this is their event or don't know, uh, haven't dealt with you know the, the chamber in general and are just trying to feel things out, what would you say to encourage them to either show up to next year's annual celebration or even get involved and engaged with us the rest of 2024? I mean, this is the annual celebration is just a good introduction into what the chamber is doing. I mean, you don't most people don't know what a chamber does or what we stand for, but if you come to our annual celebration, you're going to learn what we do and what we're about in a, about an hour, hour and a half. You'll be like, man, yeah, I can, I can get behind an organization that supports the community, but also supports organizations as well. We're not just there for you when things are going good. We're going to be there for you when things are going bad as well. So just know that if you get involved with the chamber, if you're looking to find something, we're all yes people at the chamber. <laughs> so we'll find something for you, but we're not just going to drop you off at the doorstep and leave you. We're going to be there throughout your entire journey and support you no matter what issue or what problem you're For having. sure. Yeah. Well, and I, I think that says something to the proactive nature of, of where we're at too. I think uh, something that you've done a good job in uh, of in your position is kind of bringing in some of those next gen leaders and and helping them realize that the chamber kind of has that stuff that's for them and offers mm -hmm. them a chance to kind of get more ingratiated with things outside of just you know volunteer opportunities and things like that. What would you say to like any next geners that are listening right now uh, about getting encouraging them to kind of step up and and be a part of the the culture that's up here? Don't be afraid. Just just come in and. Uh, whatever you want to do, we'll find something for you. Just don't don't be afraid to take that first step. We're all very welcoming here at the chamber. So just say like, hey, this is what I want to do. And again, if it's me, if it's you, if it's Steve, or whoever you talk to at our chamber, we're going to meet you where you're at and try to figure out what the best fit is for you. So just, you know, don't, don't be the younger generation. Sometimes we get that social anxiety and oh, things yeah. like that. But just come be your true self. We'll accept you for whoever you are. And we'll get you plugged into the community in whatever way that looks like for you. Any last words that you want to say to the folks listening before you step off and get into your official duties for the day? Next year, we hope to see you here. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. Thanks. 
And we are back at the 2024 annual celebration of business and community with the Chamber Voice of Business podcast live recording sponsored by podcastvideos.com. We give them all the love because they they, they make this so easy. It's just li- literally push button. Parker's over there. He's been messing with me, playing sounds in my ears sometimes just to try to get me to break. But, you know, it's not happening. It's not happening. But we are joined <laughs> but with uh, Brian. Please correct how to pronounce. Your last name is very difficult to pronounce sometimes. Sometimes it is. Yes. It's diversary. Diversary. Like all right. anniversary. Brian Diversary with SurfPro. You are a Chamber ambassador. You are very active. You guys sponsor a lot of the Chamber events. So what is it about the Chamber? What is it about the annual celebration of business community that that keeps you guys involved and and keeps you coming back year after year? So this is a wonderful event because so many people come together in one spot, one time, and you get to network, meet people, see people that you've seen and know for a while, but now you get to catch up with them see how their business is going, see what kind of hurdles they're running into. Get to mingle with a thousand of your closest friends, right? Absolutely. (laughs) You know, if I, if I had to hand out tickets, you know, you get a hundred tickets, who are you going to hand them out to? Right. right? You know? (laughs) So no, I think it's a wonderful event. And and what about this year? I know you've been involved for, for many years, but uh, switching it to a lunch. Well, how does, how do you think that's impacting things just as, as a chamber member and an ambassador? It makes it a little bit easier for me to schedule. Okay. Okay. So with the lunch, Mm -hmm. okay. I've got my business day, can plan that out, as opposed to an evening where you get into family, you know, and sometimes things come up with family and you you have to make arrangements. Right. So during the business day, I can take care of business and having it as a lunch, I really think it's a a big improvement. Have you been able to, you know, make connections and kind of help your business growth through that networking that you have here at the celebration? At the celebration and in the chamber events that we do. Uh Uh-huh. Building my network is so important because in our business, it's not something that you want to go out and purchase. Right. This is an emergency situation where it's the relationship. Who do I know that can take care of this? Mm -hmm. So building that network, having events like this, having the different chamber events where we sponsor and keep our name in front of it, huge. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned the sponsorship. I know you guys have been very active in the Workforce Council with the K-J uh, programs that, that we do as well. So I appreciate your support for all the, the work I get to do uh, every day in, in the workforce development space. So, um, you know, you talked about this event, but then what, what are some other chamber events that just really stand out to you that you're like, those are ones I do not miss? Wow. So we're very active in the uh, in the morning networking events. Mm-hmm. And that's a, an excellent Shifting opportunity. Shifting to eight thirty this year has definitely been a, an improvement. We're seeing more people showing up. Right, yeah. right. Didn't have to get up as early and, 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 <laughs> Kid and make drop the off at school, all that stuff. Do, yeah, do that, exactly. You know? So I, I like those. Um, you know, being an ambassador right, has been such a huge part. Mm-hmm. So not only do you get to do the events, but you get to meet the different businesses that are new. And, and I, I like to talk about you get that bragging rights a little bit. So you, you get to go to the do. groundbreaking. And you're like, I know what's going in that building. Yeah, I know what that's going to yeah. be. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's exciting. So I, I enjoy all of those. And then the, um, the, in the past, the pop up events that would go on downtown. Uh huh. Like, those were nice because now it gives us an opportunity to mix and mingle with the community. Right. So they see Serve Pro and well, I've seen it. What is it? What do you do? <laughs> right. And it gives us a good opportunity to touch hands. You know. Shake hands, kiss babies. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah, that, that yeah absolutely. Business development is just politicians without the office, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, Brian, we appreciate you being on here at the uh, the Voice of Business podcast. And thank Surf Pro for all of your support uh, that you guys bring to us. You know, we, we couldn't do it without your sponsorships. And so we, we truly appreciate it. And hopefully you can get some more business here today. I love it. Thank you, Steve. Right. Thanks, Brian. We are back here at the Chamber Voice of Business podcast at the 2024 annual celebration of business community. Of course, we are sponsored by podcastvideos.com. They are also our Chronicle sponsor for, for 2024. So we are very excited to be able to do this. And we're joined now, Jeremy Turley, with the payroll company or TP. PC. Right. So appreciate you. Uh, you've been very active in the chamber, um, definitely have, have been around for years. What is it that keeps bringing you back and, and coming to events like this as well as, as other chamber programs that we do throughout the year? Yeah, Steve, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you guys throw such amazing events. You know, what keeps me coming back is the community. It's the people. It's the relationships. Man, it's just a great time to come in an hour and a half, be impactful, uh, see a bunch of people in a short amount of time. 
rub some elbows, you know, grow, grow that friends, business, man. Yeah. Grow that business, <laughs> but then also, you know, support the community, support the chamber and hear what's going on in the Rogers area. Yeah, so, no, we, and it, we appreciate it. I mean, again, you got, you've been very involved and, uh, you know, just definitely uh, appreciate everything that you guys do, uh, within the community and hopefully we can help grow your business. That's kind of our, our tagline serving business and community together. But, Absolutely, uh, yeah. I, I asked Brian this earlier and, and, uh, you know, this is the first year that we've done this as a lunch, uh, for, for this event. What do you think makes that, you know, either better, worse? I mean, kind of what, what are your thoughts on, on shifting this to, to the middle of the day as opposed to seven o'clock at night? I am 100 percent sold on lunch. So I think that was a wise decision. <laughs> you know, you have conflicts at night with kids and games and sports. Right. And, you know, your wife might be out. So you might be stuck with the kids. So you may have to get canceled last minute. So I love this idea. I love the chamber lunch idea. I think that was a wise move. And hopefully you get more attendees because of it. I think so. I mean, we definitely had a very positive, overwhelming response. So definitely don't want to don't don't see this changing anytime soon. So, I love that, man. Uh, yeah. So what do, you, what do you hope to get out of uh, out of today? I know we have a, a great keynote speaker talking about like culture and engagement, specifically next gen engagement as, um, you know, more and more of, of the next gen are entering the workforce and, and needing to retain and re, uh, recruit talent. So what, what, what how do how would your company benefit from today? You know, I've already benefited by just being here with you guys talking today, obviously seeing some clients. Uh, I was able to connect earlier today during the networking sessions. But man, I think just learning what's coming, what's new, um, the secrets that Steve maybe has that hasn't told everybody. <laughs> there's some, there's right? a few well, NDAs I wanna, I wanna out know, there. Yeah, yeah, I want to know who's coming, <laughs> what's happening in Rogers. I want to I want to get the DL and love to get that here today if possible. All so, right. Well, yeah. well, we'll do everything we can talking about our successes and our future plans. So, Jeremy, we appreciate you joining us here on the uh, Voice of Business podcast. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Steve. Thanks. Appreciate you. All right. I'm back here, and I'm joined by Shanda Hunter, who has actually done work with us before, and I just happened to see her uh, milling about the room and wanted to make sure I got her on here because she is one of these that has a fantastic voice uh, oh. to to contribute to it and of course she's going to bring up our uh, video quality substantially from our baseline that is steve and me so shanda thank you for being here You're i welcome. really do appreciate it uh you know you are here um are you officially representing your company or are you just here for fun yes i'm officially here representing swepco of course you know it as the power company yep um i'm senior corporate communications consultant there been there for about six months and uh, i love to attend these kind of events because um, I like to touch base with our customers, and everyone enjoys having power. So I feel like I have something to contribute oh, to yeah. the conversation. I bet that kind of helps you guys out a little bit. Oh, yeah, we keep your lights on. Yeah. I, you know, that probably brings a lot of folks to the table in general. It's quite electric. <laughs> yeah. He didn't, he missed his chance. He missed his chance for the sound effect right there. Uh, he, he's playing Candy Crush over there. He's still one of like the three people playing Candy Crush. Still. He's going to edit that out immediately. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it comes to the annual celebration, we've been talking about how this is the largest gathering of businesses in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, so I assume, you know, from your perspective, especially as a communications director with one of those businesses, what does that mean for you in terms of getting here to mingle with these people? Well, it's exciting. I was actually talking to my mom on the way here. She lives in South Dakota and she, when she comes to visit, she loves coming to Rogers because it's, it's really the heart of commerce in Northwest Arkansas. And so you get to see a lot of different people. You get to celebrate all that is and what Rogers has become and what the future holds. So I really just love the energy and the vibe coming off of everybody. Everyone believes in this area and it's really cool just to come in with the same spirit and just you know, see what's going on and, and kind of get a glimpse into what's next. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's a big celebration for the chamber, but also for the community, because we get to look back at the year that we just had in 2023 and talk about all of the things that have been happening. And when you're talking about a dynamic area like Northwest Arkansas, you're talking about, you know, up to 38 people a day coming into the area. You've got new businesses that are opening up uh, literally daily around our region. Uh, and you guys are having to keep the power on for all those folks for the most part, right? So, yes. I mean, you see the impact of that almost immediately when we're right. talking about keeping that on. So celebrating those wins is important, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. Especially in the space of economic development and what's happening because we get these, uh, you know, opportunities to grow um, and develop 
um, businesses and manufacturers, but they need a lot of power to generate those facilities. So it's really neat to kind of um, be able to, to facilitate that and get a hand in um, just telling the stories of these businesses yeah. too as we go and how they're working to become more energy efficient at the front end of the process instead of either in the middle or retrofitting, you know, or in making change once they're up and running. So I, I really feel that is really a huge part in the sustainability of business in Northwest Arkansas too. For sure. When it comes to the chamber itself, you have a little bit more experience with us than most. As I said, you've worked with us a couple of times, but like, uh, what does it mean to you to get to show up and just kind of see what the chamber's been up to and, and stay in touch? Sure. Well, of course, I love all of the people at the chamber, you and, you know, Ross. We call him Ross because he's boss Ross. But um, <laughs> we, <laughs> um, I had the privilege of um, being a, a in the Leadership Benton County program. And when I say m my best friends today are from that group of people, I'm not, I'm not lying. It, it was such a cool experience to see all different facets of Northwest Arkansas and how we all contribute in our own way and our different career paths. And we're all very different people, but you know, we, we come together to celebrate uh, Benton County and Rogers specifically. So when I come here, I feel like um, I, it's almost celebrity status. I just get excited to see all the people that, that I love <laughs> along the way. I'm like, oh, hey, Mayor Hines, what's up? And hey, Nick, <laughs> hey, Katie, whatever it is. Like, it just, it's so cool. It just energizes me, but like truly energizes me to see all of the cool people here in Northwest Arkansas. So if you're one of the people who's not here today, what would you say to those folks? Try and get them to come out and, and check everything out. Yes, I will. First, I'm very sad for them because they're missing out on something great. <laughs> Uh, second, like, why why not be here? I mean, how sad was the COVID era when we couldn't be in the same room together and celebrating these big wins? Northwest Arkansas was still growing during a really tough time for businesses and for people. And so now that we can be in the same room and high-fiving and hugging and, and celebrating, um, you know, our economic state, you know, why, why wouldn't you? So come for on sure. next year. Definitely. I'll, I'll Definitely. send you a sternly worded email if you don't show up. <laughs> Couldn't you just turn the power off? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm never going to be invited to an, an event at a. I love how they're immediately like, no, no, you won't. <laughs> no, you just no. blew that. You know, <laughs> maybe I should check the power at my house. Um, so well, I would love to have that button. That button doesn't <laughs> exist. A lot of customers are like, oh, can't you just push a button? I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, take an electrical engineering class. You got to reroute all of this stuff. And some really smart people, some engineers who are way brighter than me are trying to figure you that out. You could have just said I wasn't qualified and left it at that. That's, you know, like that me personally, I I'm not ever going to be an electrical engineer. I understand that. What? If they need the power to look pretty. <laughs> yeah. That's right. If you ever need your pamphlets talking about the power, I'm your guy. That's what we got. Well, Shanda, thank you so much. Is you there anything so else you want to add for our, our adoring audience that I guarantee is probably happier with you being here than me? Well, I doubt that. You are very, <laughs> very entertaining and charismatic fella. And you're also really tall. Every time I, I encounter you, I'm like, God, you are so tall. And it's, I'm it's not. It's the, the heels. Well, yeah, I'm also wearing four inch heels. So it, you make me feel tiny. Well, then, you know, I'll, I'll get you my shoe guy. We'll hook you up. Oh, and also one thing that's very important to me, uh, Nick and I launched the very first Christmas pick passport that's right. in downtown that's Rogers. Right. That was our, it was like our little brainchild. And I, I, you know, in my chaotic excitement, I explained to him what I wanted and he made the graphics and the art and they're still carrying it and on today. And it is today. still happening. Exactly. I love it. I hope it sticks and I hope it becomes a Rogers tradition because that was very near and dear to my and heart. And my family loves it. We do it every single year, and my kids are obsessed with the blankets we got this year. So, yeah. I didn't get a blanket. Oh, they're great. Hey, you should try to, you know, hook a founder up. <laughs> <laughs> I will make that happen. I totally have that power. But I will, I will see what I can make happen. Shanda, thank you so much thank for you. being here. We'll let you get inside so you can enjoy your lunch and mingle and get down to business. And I'll get Steve back on here so we can do our closing. All right. Thank well, you so thank much. You. Of course. And it's time for our outro, Steve. Outro? Wow. That's right. We did the intro. We did the outro and the middle tro. I don't know what you call that. Is, I, it, is there a term? Um, the show. Talking. <laughs> 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 making 
vocalizations happen. But gotcha. yes, no, this has been a fun, uh, a fun event for us to be at. I've gotten some great uh, feedback from the folks that I got to interview. I think I was, I was seeing a lot of animated uh, chatter going on. With yeah, you as no, well. it was great. And the overwhelming uh, consensus is that lunch is the way to go. So yes, we have we have learned that Same from our attendees. Thing. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that's going to be something that sticks for sure. So Absolutely. Anything else? We know both of us actually have to get in there to run the event. Anything else you <laughs> want to add before we have to uh, head out? I mean, all that I have to add is just to thank podcastvideos.com for not just sponsoring the podcast, but also being the Chronicle sponsor for, you know, we're going to do more of these with Thank a Teacher. I think uh, either Taste of Rogers or um, the inter or, uh, uh, Celebration of Business, like Community Showcase. That's what it is. Community Showcase. Uh, yeah. So, and you know, Thank a Teacher. And Thank a Teacher. So, very excited to get to do that. Um, obviously, you know, love working with those guys just make it so easy so simple if you want a podcast if you have one or if you're thinking about starting one these guys are a great resource to have that can just make it as simple as possible and they have um, a to do killer this. new studio and that to studio do it is too, so. uh, they have multiple studios and they are all awesome but exactly uh, again we also want to thank all of our sponsors for the annual celebration of business community i know you have the list in front of you who, who, who who's That's sponsoring right. today so we have a long list but uh, long story short we want to thank our title sponsor sam's furniture mm -hmm. for being uh, uh, the title sponsor of the annual celebration and then specifically with our presenting sponsors, we actually have uh, several folks. We want to thank Crafton and Toll. We want to thank uh, Hunt Ventures, Nabholtz Construction, Ritter Communications, and of course Walmart for being there for us. Uh, without y'all's help, this wouldn't be the event that it is today. Um, we're going to do our sign off. Again, thank you, podcastvideos.com. Thank you for those listening. Uh, and, hey, hopefully we'll see you in there uh, next year or yeah. at one of our events coming up. But for make, sure. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe, all the things on oh, yeah. all the channels. So, oh, yes. yes. Thank you. I almost missed that. Yeah, that that's, a good, that's a big one. That's a big <laughs> like, one. Like, subscribe, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple, Google, YouTube, social media, all the places. Check it out. Thank you to all of our guests today, and we'll see you next time. Sounds good.